a very productive week of rearranging, organizing, and cat proving my room. I recently did a room reset series, but let's be honest, it wasn't completely finished. Some things I just didn't show you because it's just a mess and it was gonna take another video to do it. So here's this video. But now I do need to cat proof my room because my cat Reese lives with me. Hey! I'm starting off with this area. It got a little bit messy since Reese has been staying here overnight. But now that he's calmed down a bit and he has been sleeping with me, it's so cute. I love it. If you watch my other cleaning videos, then you have seen that I have this cat tree I got recently for Reese. And I ended up moving it again just in case he wanted to sleep on it while I'm sleeping. But that wasn't the case. But I do like how it gave me more room to play with in this corner. Before we begin, I do want to mention that Reese is sick. In the beginning of this video, he's not really in it because he is resting, but I want to let you know he is better and doing okay. <laughs> so I came prepared this time. I sketched out where I wanted things, or at least the layout and what, you know, what needs to be moved and where I wanted things. Last video, I did end up moving it a bunch of different times and I actually measured it as long as I measured it right and it looks okay. Cause obviously I'm not gonna know exactly how it looks till I move it there, but hopefully I don't have to move it so many times. And hopefully I like it there. So. I swept up the floor. It got dirty pretty quickly and I don't think I shook out my rug last time. So that's why I was after dirty. But a good thing I did that so I don't have more dirt laying around. When we look back at my drawing, what did I come to? So, looks like we're doing a little switcheroo. I mean, there's a lot of switcheroos, but let's start with one thing at a time. So, I'm gonna move my mirror over here. Move things out of the way. Okay, that isn't, I mean, that's one of my ideas I had, but. There's another thing I've been wanting to move. It's just really messy and needs to be organized. And that's why I haven't really showed it on here. So I think I'm changing my plan again. Cause I don't think it's gonna look right where I was gonna have it. So that means I'm gonna have to move this out of the way. I guess I'm just dreading moving the big thing. So I'm gonna do it off camera and take off some of the stuff. So this is what I was talking about, this shelf thing over here. It's very messy and needs to be organized. I'll get to that a little later. Right now I'm trying to move things to see if that's actually gonna stay there. I'm gonna move this, I know, again, because I did it in my other video. But we're gonna bring it further down, but it does take a lot of work. Before I put everything back on it, on that, I want to also see if the clothes rack will fit here. And with the lamp, I didn't count the lamp, but I guess that it can just tuck underneath it. I can never find a spot for this lamp. Okay, it does fit and it has a little bit of room, but not really. I forgot to count the, the hooks. What sucks is I always gotta move the stuff that's on the wall, but the, my wall is so dirty. like And like the paint's coming off here. And I don't know how to paint like that. What if I just switch these two? I liked it before because I don't want this in the, the mirror view and the clothes rack wasn't a tight spot so that didn't help either I couldn't use the hooks now I'm moving it back where I had it so I did that for no reason which happens a lot but I never would have known if it would work until I tried it much better for the mirror because when I take up like a photo or a video in the mirror. As long as I'm not super close, you can't see that shelf. Okay, well that's how I get rid of the paint. I don't recommend putting tape on the wall unless you want to remove your paint. 
So before I put everything back, I gotta eat dinner. That should give me more energy to put everything back. So I'm hungry. <laughs> Reese is just sleeping like a baby. Needs to rest. Probably gonna have to just do the rest of the organizing part tomorrow because I'm so already tired from doing all that today and it's already getting late. And there's some other things I wanted to do with Reese. Okay, so let's take a break from cleaning today and actually my new earbuds came in the mail today and I'm so excited to show you them. As you know, I've been loving my pink Soundcore Anchor headphones I got recently and today I'm trying out their C30i earbuds. Here's what's in the box, some directions, the charging case, ooh, and of course the earbuds. Very fancy. Definitely the most fanciest kind ever owned can't wait to try them out and we got the two attachable ear grips and of course the charging cable let's put them on it was super easy to put on they just slide down they're very comfortable and lightweight i feel kind of cool in them to be honest too like i said it's an interesting design i never owned one like this so with the ear grips it comes with i feel like it's gonna not fall out when i work out because i always have problems with earbuds especially that fall out when i'm working out but with their open ear clip design they're definitely not gonna slip off so i don't have to worry about that anymore there's no way these are coming off they are breathable and long lasting so that's gonna be definitely perfect for me when i edit on my laptop for long hours don't have to worry about it going dead and this part I liked, they have this multi-connection feature where I can go back and forth between my phone and laptop. They do have a powerful sound, so it's going to be perfect when I listen to music, watch a show, or even clean. So I do recommend getting the Soundcore by Anchor C30i earbuds because compared to other brands, it does have a longer playtime. They are more stable with that firm shell and attachable grips. If you want to match me and you are interested in these earbuds, I'm going to have the link down below for you. Now let's get back to cleaning. I literally have to hold him. He's like wanting to eat the flowers, the flowers in my flower vase. Stop. So the next day, part of my cat proofing my room is to move the flower vases and flowers, anything that's breakable away from him. Hopefully out of reach. It's like he knew he was right in front of the camera. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now I'm starting to go through the top shelf, which has mostly hair accessories, organizing it and making it tidy. I was looking for this hairbrush. It doesn't look like I have a spot for the headbands because this is all bows and like little headbands like the you know that's a bow but the elastic headbands you know i thought those were mixed with the scrunchies but no i think i gotten rid of my headband boss because it just took up all of room and i you know this is like all my headbands i used to have a lot more but i don't wear them anymore i used to wear them in high school and middle school and definitely elementary school i guess i just grew out of them like oh my gosh this one's so old i guess because look how this one's literally coming apart if i can get it out yeah i guess she's gone <laughs> hmm, i found another little bag the hair clips are getting kind of full i guess i'll put them in this one instead because this one's bigger. It's gonna be a I didn't really tidy up the hair ties and the little hair clips because it would just get messy again. So the second shelf has my hair products for styling and of course styling tools. But I don't really use those anymore because when you put heat on your hair, it's very damaging. So I prefer to do heatless methods or just let my hair dry, air dry. Get my little stool over here because we're going lower. 
The third shelf is the nail polish and nail stuff. It's pretty organized because I not too long ago I organized it. So I just gotta take put away the stuff that's just randomly placed there. I gotta do my nails again. It's just every time I do it, it doesn't last that long. I never been to like a nail salon before, but it's just expensive. It's just something I don't spend my money on. I could just do my nails at home. I use my hands a lot, so it wouldn't last that long. Here you go. Ta-da! The next shelf, I have like my girl stuff, if you know what I mean. And then my glasses. I know it's a weird combination, but like I don't really have a lot of, of glasses and that stuff. So the last shelf is pretty ugly, okay? But it's it's packaging. I like to reuse packaging when I sell stuff. And you know, it saves money and it's better for the environment. But I need to really go through it and throw away the ones I definitely probably won't be reusing. If it's like too far gone, it's just like it had its life, it can't be reused. I know. Finally got it. It looks like I forgot to press record. So talking to myself, I guess. But the point, um, I guess I didn't even show it. I put all the ones I want to use or reuse in here. Not sure if I'm going to keep it this way, but I don't know where to put these. They can come in handy when I'm selling online or even returning something online. But at least it's not so messy and cluttered like it was beforehand. Um, so the luxury area is a little messed up right now because when Reese was active at night, he went over here and knocked everything over. So I'm like, I just left it the way it was until I reorganize it again. But I just thought about that. I'm like, I don't think I should have the jewelry here then. Huh. And got me thinking, you know, the area where my hair accessories are is very cluttered. And I was thinking, what if I swap it? Because Reese is not going to be able to get on that top shelf, you know, not so easily. I, I don't even, there's like no way to get over there. Now, this, these two drawers aren't really supposed to be here, but I really have nowhere to put them. So they are kind of just placed here. They kind of have, it's not random, but it's random items in it. It's just like some useful stuff like tape and like a measuring tape. I just said tape. But, you know what I mean, there's regular tape and a measuring tape. But I definitely don't want to get rid of it, but I'm just going to figure out where to put that. But for right now, I'm going to move it aside. He knocked this down. I wanted it over here to look cute, but he's probably going to try to go over here again. Alright, so now it's cleared off. Let's get the hair accessories over here. Here's all the goodies. This, I didn't like how I couldn't see the hair clips. I actually found some containers from the garage. I was thinking of putting it in this container. Perfect. So hopefully now I have more room and now I can actually see them and grab it instead of being random. Sometimes I want to match my outfit with it, so. I do have one more container I found. I could definitely fit on here depending on what I would want more visible. Hello there. I was looking for that. Ooh. Okay, I was thinking, because there's different kind of headbands, so why not put the, you know, regular plastic headbands and elastic headbands together? So it would be easier to find it if I decide to actually wear these, because I don't wear these that often, like these, the plastic ones, but sometimes I grab an elastic one to put my hair back. That way works so much better. I got to put the brushes there and you're able to open it while hitting the heart. You always have to play around when you're organizing things to see where you where it will work best. I like to physically see it where it is. I can't think of it always until we put it together. Now I'm sure Reese will come up here and knock a few things down, but it's not as bad as what he was knocking down. Like the jewelry, these can't shouldn't be getting knocked down. 
I'm happy with how this turned out because before I didn't even know where things were or I didn't even know they were there, you know, because now I can see where they are because I have more sections. Back over here, I'm gonna put out the jewelry now. Shouldn't be too crazy, just the same stuff we had over there. The ladies that are connected. Um, wait, oh my god. If you guys have a better idea what to do with necklaces, let me know because this ain't working for me. This is tangled and they have to put a hole to lower it down this. And even if I do that, I still have to move this one down because it won't be enough for, for this stuff. I, so I guess it's not going to be completely finished. Still figuring out a way to to make this work. That'll be a project in the future to work on. Now the top shelf. Uh, it's still work in progress as well. Um, some stuff is not even supposed to be there. I just put it there because I get out of the way. But originally it had some stuff like... Well, I didn't realize I already had a black hat. I was looking for a black hat the other day. Forgot I had this one. It's from Claire's, so this was supposed to be a while ago when I used to shop at Claire's. I mean, you haven't seen it. Let me show you. Yeah. It's probably at the time when I liked mustaches, like the symbol. I think it's like a kid hat, so I'm just gonna probably put it up. Um, when I was a kid, I went to Disney a lot. Princess. Cute, but I wouldn't wear it. I haven't worn it since a long time ago. But I'm going to save it maybe when I have my own kid one day. If I have a girl, maybe she can wear Aww. this until we get her her own, maybe. I did I did get this one not too long ago because I really wanted one with a bow. But I ended up getting one like a, with a huge-ass bow. And I swear, you can actually get a different bow. Wait a minute. It clips off. I just realized it this whole time. Like, I go to Disney that long. I haven't went to Disney since that one time. But look, um... Okay, I can literally just clip any bow. So I definitely want to keep this. So here's the box that all that stuff was in. I don't know if I should get a different box. because This one's falling apart. I don't, I don't even know if this is going to fit. It looks kind of random, but this also was up here. It was stuff that I'm going to sell. I just haven't gotten to it. But if I put it in the garage, I'll definitely forget about it. Uh. So we have a problem. This always happens to me. Something always goes wrong. So if you remember two clean videos back, I put up my purses up here on with, with this rack, but it did fall down. Thankfully, it fell down when I went to grab a purse and not on Reese. At least that didn't happen. That's why I was like, okay, I didn't care that all my purses dropped and i just don't know where to put it obviously the wall isn't strong enough for it because i have it so high so if you guys have any ideas where i should put my purse let me know down below i don't know how to store purses i literally always use this and i just felt like because i have so many it's always been cluttered so i'll probably work on that in a future video for now i'll probably put them up in a basket I did end up moving the pink storage bins in the garage and made room for my bookshelf cart and laundry basket. I also got Reese this cute water fountain the other day from Timu and he hasn't even tried it yet. I don't know if he's scared of it, but he did look at it and sniffed it and even put his paw into it. So hopefully soon he will use it, but for now he's still drinking it out of his regular bowl. So again, off camera, I did put more storage bins in the garage. Um, they were originally under my closet. I know I still haven't gotten to listing all those clothes that are in there, but I do plan on doing it one day. I might have to do it for a video to get it done. It gives me motivation to actually do it. Just like this video. But rest of my storage, I did put in cardboard boxes under the closet. Reese likes going in my closet. 
Bruh. Which isn't good because I don't want another mishap, you know, where he scratched my dress, making it, you know, not presentable anymore. I can't wear a dress that has a scratch on it. But luckily, it was only one dress. So I've been trying to prevent that from happening by putting up this screen divider. But somehow he manages to sneak under it and he likes to hide on the cardboard boxes. But, um,. I don't like that because he's very close to my clothes. And just the other day, he actually made it on top of here, knocking down my shoes because I was trying to get him. So I couldn't have stuff in front of the, the um, screen divider because he jumped off of that on top of the screen divider onto here. And you know, I wasn't even in the room when this happened. I heard it and I found him up there. Because I couldn't find him at first, actually. It's funny. I wish I got it on camera. I'm not done. That was just that day. Another day, I was not even home. He knocked my mirror down, and it was flipped over. Um, luckily, it was not cracked, but I think he jumped off of there to get into here. And my cowboy boots were actually on the floor. At least one of them were. So I was like, shoot, hopefully he didn't scratch them up. Those are nice. How do we fix this? So the other day I did get a screen net for the front of my door so he can't get it out of my room and it has been working. So I decided to order, order some more, but I had to order two big ones because they don't have one that's big enough for this size. So I feel like that's gonna work. It's, it's just better off so I can protect my clothes and the stuff that's in the closet. I can hide from him, making it cat proof for sure. But I can't do it. I'm not going to be able to do it in this video because it's going to take some time to come from Timu. But you should subscribe if you haven't already so you can see my progress with this update. They did arrive last uh, minute in this video, but they ended up not fitting. So I'm going to have to return them. Sucks because now i got to wait longer if I want to put them up. So here's what my room looks like right now after cat proofing it and rearranging, cleaning, and organizing. But it's never ending for me. It's nice to have a change of scenery every once in a while. So that's part of why I rearrange. I learned that cleaning and having things organized can help reduce stress. So in a way, this has been helping me. And I'm so glad I can share this with you. Thanks for hanging out with me and Reese while I clean and cat proof the room for this little guy. I couldn't do this without you. It just gives me motivation. And I hope this can give you motivation to inspire you to clean your own room or change things up. If you did like this video, remember to press the like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more content from me and Reese. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! He just fell asleep on my arm.